All right, John and I have a new plugin for you. He's been working really hard uh, to get this one functioning properly. This is for a specific bias test, which is another name for common method bias. So you may recall in previous uh, versions of uh, the method bias plugin, we've used the common latent factor, uh, where you just draw a big factor here and um, highlight it, and then run the plugin, right? The uh, <clears throat> common latent factor plugin. The plugin I'm about to show you um, is an upgrade for this, so you don't need to use this one anymore. So this one allows you to use a common latent factor or uh, more appropriately use a specific bias variable such as social desirability. Let me show you real quick how to use it with a common latent factor. And it's actually roughly the same approach as with a specific bias variable, but I'll show you both ways. So what you would do is um, name your variable. Uh, we'll just name this the CLF common latent factor, and then select it, make sure it's highlighted, and then go to plugins and run the specific bias test. Now to get this plugin, just go to the usual place. Uh, if you go to my stat wiki and go to the left column, there's a, uh, I'll just show you actually, that'd be easier. Here we go. Go to stat wiki, and then in the left column here, if you go to plugins and estimands, and then look for plugins version 24 or higher. I don't have one of these for version 24 or lower, uh, 23 or lower, sorry. So if you open up 23, uh, 24 or higher, then you'll see all the plugins. The one you want is, let's see, model bias 24 DLL. That's what you want to download and put it in your app data plugins folder all the way over here in, let's see, not there, that's <laughs> different folder over here in your uh, users, username, app data, local, Amos development, Amos, version, and plugins folder. There's a video on how to do that if you just um, go to YouTube and look for Amos plugins, you'll probably find it. Okay, anyway, once you have the plugin, then all you have to do, uh, if, you're, if you don't have a specific bias marker variable, uh, then all you have to do is create the CLF, and then go to plugins, and click on the specific bias test. And it warns you it's going to have a lot of pop-ups that say proceed. Just click proceed. Here we go. Here's one of them. It says proceed. It runs. And what it's doing is it's running several tests. It's running a zero uh, bias test, a, an equal bias test, and an unconstrained test and then it's getting the chi-square and degrees of freedom from each of those and then running a chi-square difference test uh, where appropriate and then it will generate a, an HTML file with all the information you need. So for your zero constraints test, at least for this model, here is the unconstrained model, here's the constrained model uh, where all constraints are set to zero and here are the differences in chi-square degrees of freedom, and here's the p-value for that chi-square difference test. The answer is yes, there is bias. It is different from zero, um, and so we need to do what's called an equal constraints test to see if it is evenly distributed. So we run the unconstrained model again, and the equal constraints model, and here's the difference, and it looks like we do have unevenly distributed bias. And so the conclusion is that uh, the zero constraints and the distribution test uh, were both significant and so the main conclusion is that we do have bias and it's unevenly distributed and this is a limitation of our study. Here is some verbiage if you'd like uh, a test of equal a test of equal specific bias demonstrated unevenly distributed bias. Um, that's what you put in your report. If you want to cite this uh, feel free here's the citation down here. Now let me show you how to do it with a a specific bias variable. So the way we did it here, oh and then now that we're done let's just delete this. Um, that's not gonna let me. I'll save and reopen. There we go. Um, just gonna delete this. Let's say we do have a specific bias variable, what used to be called a marker variable. These include things like social desirability, uh, loyalty, um, self-efficacy or optimism, things like that. Uh, these are known biases that uh, tend to inflate or deflate, deflate responses on a survey. 
So what we can do is uh, use this more rigorous approach using the marker variable. What I'm going to do is after I've done my CFA, um, when I'm ready for my specific, specific bias test, I'm going to disconnect the specific bias marker variable from all others. And then let me just move it on over. Let's see, move it with the truck and the balloons to this privileged position over here. And then I'm going to highlight or select that specific bias variable. And then just do the same thing as before. Um, do a specific bias test. Say OK, hit proceed. And it's just doing those same tests and unconstrained and equal, constra uh, unconstrained, then a zero constraints. Um, and then an equal constraints test. And once it's done with all those, again, it prints all this out. And using the specific bias marker variable, looks like we're a little closer to having not bias. <laughs> um, but in both cases, it's still less than 0 0.05. And uh, so the conclusion is the same. Uh, uh, a test of equal specific bias demonstrated unevenly distributed bias. There it is. Um, if you'd like to have a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to do this, I have that now in StatWiki. If you go to the CFA page and go down to, here it is, zero and equal constraints. Here is the most current and best approach for uh, detecting and parceling out bias or measurement bias in a measurement model just step by step what to do and what it means and all that. Hope this is helpful. Um, use this instead of old Harman's factor tests and things like that. Um, yeah, good luck.